right, what up, beer and sunshine friends? It's your pal Tommy T here at the Good Liquid Brewing Company in Bradenton, Florida, with owner Mike Crail, uh, hey my pal, <laughs> my pal Jason Wilson, and of course, I feel like this is almost like a Charlie's Angels thing. I almost get want to call these guys Tommy's Angels or something. But uh, I'm really fortunate to have my friends Susie Bennett and Nikki Goldsmith here with me, and. Uh, we're ready for another awesome episode. Oh wait, labels out, guys. Labels yes. out. We're gonna oh, I already have it. Gotta yes. promote the good, good liquid, liquid company. There we go. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Yeah. Mike, thank you so much yeah, for having us. Uh, I hear good things. And now I know why. <laughs> what am I drinking, by the way, Susie? You think you got uh, this Belgian one? triple. Belgian triple, really? She did you right. That's good. What's the uh, <laughs> what's the uh, a, the uh, percentage of that? The ABV on that one? I think it's about eight percent. Eight? I can do that. Eight percent's all right. That'll get you where you need to go real fast. Yeah. Well, it'll put a smile on my face. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. So I've I've heard uh, from a lot of people around the Sarasota Bradenton area that uh, Good Liquor Company was um, one of the breweries that I needed to get in touch with. And I reached out to your wife, Sandra, who unfortunately is not on camera. I'm really upset She's about that. Fighting. Because She's she is much prettier than you are, Mike. No offense. I do like your haircut, though. I like your style. Um, but uh, And this is a really cool spot. I'm not super familiar with a, uh, a lot of places in Bradenton. Bradenton seems to be a little bit, I don't know, maybe a little older than Sarasota. A little bit more congested. There's a lot more here. And if you don't know what you're looking for, I, I guess you can just drive by stuff and not, not see it. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, there, there's really a lot going on out in the road. So you really yeah. don't notice it's really like that hidden gem. Yeah, so yeah. People are slowly finding us, which is good. Cool, cool. Well, this is def seems to be a, a place that people are talking about. So anybody who doesn't know about the Good Liquid Company here in Bradenton, you need to come find it, have a beer. There's tons of room here. You guys have a huge space. Hopefully we'll get some pictures and stuff before we leave, and we'll, we'll try and get that stuff uh, up into one one of these videos or at least in our Facebook and stuff to promote you guys a bit for sure. Um, tell me, what, how did you guys get going here? Uh, interesting story. So we had a brewery in South Carolina that we sold uh, December of 2016 and then we came down here. Uh, my brother lives in the area. Okay. And um, we met with some investors and they wanted us to build a brewery in Lakewood Ranch and we decided not to go that direction but during the meeting they they kept talking about good liquid. You know, guys, we, we brought Mike down here from South Carolina because Mike has good liquid. You know, we need good liquid. We need more good liquid in here. And they kept saying good liquid. Yeah. So that's how we got the name. Awesome. And Makes then the, uh, the location was uh, my brother-in-law owns a shopping center. Uh-huh. So he was like, well, you know what? I got a spot for you. It's not the nicest spot. It's probably one of the worst spots I have. But I think it would be a good spot for you. I don't think it's so, a bad spot. I mean, you're right now, behind Hooters. Well, now. Was that Hooters there before? Uh, the Hooters was there, but this used to be a hookah lounge. A hookah lounge, online gambling. That's what, that's what he said. That's what yeah. he said. He said. How, did you know, how did you know it used to be a hookah lounge? I've been, I've been a few times. Oh, yeah? Because <laughs> yeah. so you're, you're, you're from, you're, where are you from originally? Sarasota. From Sarasota. Okay. So he, guys, this is uh, Jason Wilson. Jason is the son of our brewmaster, head, head brewer at Big Top Brewing Company down in Sarasota, uh, which is our, our home base. Uh, he's the son of, of Josh. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's probably crazy. Probably <laughs> insane. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you can vouch for that. You're good friends with Josh. He's nuts. It's all true. Yeah, but that's why the that's why the beer tastes so good. I think a little bit of crazy goes into every brew. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, sorry. So so you guys so good that that makes sense. How you got the name? And uh, you're definitely not from the area. I can tell you're probably from either Philly or Pittsburgh, something like that. Maybe Jersey. South Jersey. Yeah. South Jersey. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm I'm from uh, I'm from Middletown, New York, Orange County. And we border uh, Jersey and Pennsylvania, like 15 minutes from both. That, they call that, you know, that tri-state area there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so I recognize the accents. Um, I, I've been down here for a very long time, so mine is not as... Uh, as. So a girl told me once I had an on-the-way-upstate New York accent, <laughs> which makes perfect sense, right? An hour outside of the city, New York goes for, what, you know, as eight hours or some of that north. Uh, but, but I... I recognize, I recognize a, a, a you know a relative from the area there. Been in the South for a long time. I have you, you too? Yeah. 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 I was in South Carolina for 16 years. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So I still haven't lost my Southern twang there. It's still yeah, a little bit no. there. <laughs> I had a girl once. I was doing. I was working for this company. I was doing sales years ago, and I called somewhere, and some girl answered the phone, and I hear her yelling background. She goes, 
hey, there's a guy with a southern accent on the phone. And I was super offended. <laughs> super offended, but uh, I get it, you know. Kind of pick it up pretty easy. She said, oh, bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my wife's family. My wife's family says, uh, bl oh, oh, bless, oh, bless, all the time. But uh, so where were you in South Carolina? I was in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina, 20 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. I was, I, my wife and I moved to uh, Sarasota from Charlotte. We were living in, um, uh, oh, gosh. Oh, I haven't had a brain fart in quite a while. Um, <laughs> we lived in the very south end of Charlotte, uh, like 10 minutes from the border of Rock Hill. Um, that like that ritzy little that expensive part of Valentine. Charlotte. Valentine. We're yeah. in Valentine. Oh Valentine. my goodness. Valentine. I don't know. I think Alzheimer's is setting in today. Yeah. Today is the day. I've forgotten all kinds of stuff. Oh wow. At this very moment. Oh, and I started sweating immediately. Awesome. Great. Have you been back to the beer scene up there? Yeah. It's changed a lot. There's oh, a it's lot of breweries. Incredible, huh? A lot of good breweries up there. You've been to Noda Brewery? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good Hop, drop, and roll, baby. That's 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 my still to this day my favorite IPA. Uh, I'd say Wooden Robot's doing really good. I heard uh, about them. I, I, don't, Brewing Company. I don't think I've been there. I haven't been to Sycamore either, I don't Triple think. Triple C. Triple C, I know Triple C very well. Man, there's so many of them now. Yeah, I'm I forget due, so many of them now. There's so I'm, many new I'm ones. I'm due for a visit. Due for yeah. a visit up there. But uh, well, anyway, I feel, I feel like I'm being rude here. Well, I I remember when I first heard <laughs> about Good Liquids because, well, someone from the school. I don't want to name just in case they don't want me to name them. <laughs> name them. Name them. The USF campus. The dean of the College of Science and Mathematics um, <laughs> um, actually mentioned that he had stopped by, that it was a brand new brewery. And of course, me being who I am, I'm like, I must go. I need to check it out. Not so sure about the name, but all right. And so finally, I came out. Um, and you guys have like the best sours. I'm obsessed with sours. Really? Yeah, yeah same here. So did you, you want to give this one a go? Wait, can we pass what is it? What is it? What is Passion it? Passion fruit goes up. Oh, oh yeah, I do. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> the smell, the smell I mean, is, it smells awesome. Yeah. But, and then of course I come from trivia because I'm so nerdy that I like to try oh, to win. But man. that one team, that one team. Always get you, yeah. Always. That's, that's, Always. that's sour, like, but not a, I mean, it's puckery, but not, it doesn't overdo it by, by any means. But the, the smell gets you immediately. And then the flavor is, uh, like, you want to just chug it. You just oh. want to drink a gallon I of it. I believe it's, it's four point seven. Should I just so pass it around? Than your <laughs> uh, you, you like sours? Some now hitting six. I like sours. Six a on bit. your sours? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, a few that are hitting six. I'm uh, coconut trouble. lychee. <laughs> yeah. That was a six. Yeah, it's a six. That makes sense. Lychee. I'm feeling yeah, it. Yeah, six. Okay. That's a six. Uh, that one is not. That's that's four point seven. Four point seven. Okay. Okay. I have not. Yeah, give it a go. It's. What is? So you're talking. So which one is that? That is. Passion fruit goza. Passion fruit goza, and then what's the lychee you're talking? about? Coconut lychee. That's coconut. You have to try that. It's insane. You know, we, we totally so screwed good. up. We totally screwed up here. Usually, every time we do a show, breweries come to us, we go to them, they get a whole bunch of beers ready, and we taste them on the show. Ah. We have to do that. We can't, we can't do a, an episode of Beer and Sunshine at Good Liquid Brewing Company and not try your beers. Can, have to call can, you, can you do one of these, like, and then, that. like, five people I come running? I, I, yeah. I, think Far I think it worked. Uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> She's not coming this way. We got all excited. I, I maybe. Have a, a side conversation with Sandra, and I was maybe promised. Hook it up, Andy. <laughs> Hook it up. <laughs> all sours. What do you? Uh, well, what do oh you gosh. tell? What do we need to? Uh, what do we need to try? What? Do, what do people yeah. have to try when they come here? Like, what's your? And are you the brewer? Yeah. So, what is? What do people have to try? What do you want the good people out there to know when they come in here to good? Uh, uh, good liquid. What do they need to ask for? Like, what are, do you guys do flights? Yeah, I, I mean, I would say all of them because we have good liquid. So how many, every one of our beers is, is a good liquid. How many staple beers do you guys have right now? Um, probably about 12 to 15. 12 to 15. It's seasonal. Okay. So we're, we're, I know like some weeks we change out five or six beers, other weeks we might change out 10. Okay. So it really varies. It depends on what fruit is in season. Yeah. Because we use all fresh fruit. So right, right. I, coming up, uh, I have a, I don't think what's coming up. Another watermelon sour because watermelon just finished up. Wow. Um, <laughs> Settle down now, Susie. Raspberry down. peanut butter and jelly. Uh, Are you gonna do a PB and J too? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah cool, cool. Pineapple habanero. Oh. Whoa. Oh, we have a strawberry milkshake IPA. Okay. Nice. I'm trying to think what else is coming up. There's so many beers, and we have a lot of Oktoberfest yeah. beers coming up, like a uh, Doppelbach, uh, Pilsner, Kolsch, Hefeweizen. Sandra earlier, and I just overheard her actually telling someone 
else, but you guys have, have 24 tops. Is no, no, we correct? have 34. 34, okay. 34 tops. Not 24, 34. Wow. Yeah. You haven't even been open a year. Like, well, I mean, I, I've been brewing for years, so my last brewery I had... We had 24 taps there, and then we had uh, seven taps that were mobile. Wow. So, I mean, I've been growing a lot of different beers for well, years. Well, you kind so. of seem especially more in small batch, just so you can keep things fresh and keep them moving. And, yeah, we know. do about, every every beer we do about five barrels. Okay. So, I don't know if people can say that smaller down here, but. I don't know. There's I know when there's something good that I need to come in here and drink as much as I can. Well, as much as I can of that beer. Because I know it's going to be gone <laughs> yeah. soon. It goes yeah. pretty fast. We did the Sour Patch Kid can release. It was oh, four different gosh, flavors. So the yeah. first time we did it, went in about six hours. Uh, the second yeah. time we did it, it was ten minutes. Next time, call me. Yeah. Yeah. Really it was so it. fast. <laughs> yeah. How long does it take you to get here? Um, the best thing is actually 10 minutes from my work. So the minute I found out you guys opened, me and my coworker Lindsay, who's behind the camera right now, um, we were like, we have to go here and try it. And the first time we came here, we had like two flights each because there was so much to choose from and everything was so good. I like didn't know what to do with myself. I like I your like, style, Mike. I like your style. <laughs> yeah, awesome. it was it was awesome. <laughs> Jason, you're you're probably the youngest one here. I am. I am. Um, and and so, but you but your your dad being a true brewmaster. Um, when did you uh, like? When did you start getting into craft beer? I know. Now listen, his he's got to tell the story of why he can't do hops. And when he first said it, I was like, I almost was like, you know, just get away from me, kid. Get, just go away. But when he told me the story of why, I'm like, oh man, I feel bad for you. I, I, I just want to give him a hug. It's terrible. But but t tell me, like like tell us what uh, when you get into craft beer, and then tell your story about why you can't do hops anymore. Well, obviously, I was 21 when I got into craft beer. Of course. Sure. Of course. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure he was. Yeah. Just like everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't do hops anymore because I ate a handful of hops one time. Just raw hops. Why did you eat the handful of hops? Because somebody, not saying who. Say who? <laughs> my dad told me it would be a great idea. <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be that's so terrible. Cool. So that mean. Is awful. So was mean. it pellets or fresh hops? Uh, fresh hops and pellets, a mixture of both. Oh, oh that's my really terrible. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, I think we, we had Come on, in, look, Andy. The beer just magically appears. Hey. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the camera's getting the good shot right there, Andy. We appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, man. That's it's, a pretty good one. So is that, you, know, you can you can recognize these by looking at them probably, right? No, not at all. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's the Peach Milkshake IPA, the Honey Rye. The end one is the, that should be lychee is coconut. That the, that's the that's raspberry that's, jalapeno. Oh, yeah? We spun them around backwards. Raspberry jalapeno? Yeah. Oh, it's, my there's goodness. There's no heat to it, though. It's just all flavor. Oh, pardon that me, pardon me. I'm oh, sweating. I, I, I get pepper, and I just, like, start, like, literally turning red. I get my, spicy oh, mayo. Oh, the spicier, the better my, for me. It's like a cartoon. I, my I just, like I just oh. did something, like, I went against everything I believe in. My wife is watching. She's probably commenting right now, laughing at me. You said jalapeno, and I... I lose my mind when people say jalapeno because it's, it's as simple as if you can say. Uh, here, here we go. Oh man, if you can say pen, you can say jalapeno. Wow. Right? I mean, so, I didn't know that jalapeno. Was jalapeno, yeah. Does that it, sound it, correct to you? Um, jalapeno? Oh, it's not jalapeno. I'm thinking about how do I. I mean, I'm Spanish. I should be able to say this the right <laughs> way. But I'm thinking. Um, uh -huh. Jalapeno. You're Spanish as in you're from Spain or you're Latino? I'm Latino. You're Latino. Latino. Thank you. She said I'm Latino. Latino. Yeah, I'm Latino. Latino. Well, yeah. Well, she should like be ashamed of herself. She should be ashamed of herself. <laughs> Maybe he's like a bird bird. 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 But anyway, all right. So raspberry jalapeno. That sounds amazing. And I don't. I don't really like heat. There's no heat at all. Zero heat. Really? Okay. Okay. All right. We scrape the seeds. How are we gonna do this? We go ladies. Let's go ladies first. How about ladies first? Girls. Let's start with that. Let's start with the raspberry jalapeno. Give it well, a go. I like, well, there's, there's no heat, but I'll, I'll give it a go. That's this last one here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's I'm going to reach over. All right, let's go. Does it smell like raspberry? Yeah, how come, how come you didn't do like a... Oh, it does. It, okay. Yeah, it smells like, you know those um, like TJ Friday jalapeno poppers? Like that sauce, you know? <laughs> yeah. so you That's my sweating. secret. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's making me hungry. It's making mm. me hungry. Man, we should order Fuzzy Taco. It's, it's Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. Fuzzy? Yeah, no yeah. heat. No, I've no heard about that place. Yeah. Is that the place at that's the end good, of the plaza? Yeah. Like yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy we'll we'll crap, guys. That is, uh, so we'll go, let's I think just, it's like five, six. What do you think? Five on that one? Yeah. It doesn't taste or like that. I think it's in a ballpark. Ladies, remember, I have so many beers. I don't remember all I think it's in a ballpark. See, but I find that your beers, even when they're higher, but maybe they're, um, that they don't taste that strong. Smooth, yeah. Yeah. You don't get that. Trouble. You don't get that grain raisin <laughs> I flavor. Do not. Yeah. It tastes great. 
<laughs> and what? So, what Jason, go for it. Man. <laughs> you know, what? What did you think, though? It's really, it's a really interesting combination. I'm always terrified to try any jalapeno beer. Like I know Big Top has the. Um, you mean jalapeno oh. beer? I was gonna say the jalapeno <laughs> beer. <laughs> what do you think? I'm That's great. It's not, there's no spice at all. There's zero heat. There's no seeds at all. Oh, so guys, like cheap dry Friday jalapeno peppers, right? With that like sauce, right? Get a little that cheddar might be cheese like in the background. New favorite. <laughs> Honestly, I like it that much. It's great. Dang. That's good. You get. You, you get that. you get almost <laughs> almost a peppery feeling on your tongue, but, but it's it more of a feeling. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. more of a feeling that it tastes like there's no heat. It's there's like definitely a, no heat. It's like a smoky. Like I a smoky. Just, yeah. Almost, yeah. Yeah. Zero heat. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible, dude. <laughs> That's really incredible. But you definitely get raspberry. There's like oh, no doubt it's raspberry, yeah. but you taste the jalapeno at, at the same time. They get that little jalapeno. Oh my goodness. Jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, sir. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. That's a that's really good. My family's gonna be so disappointed with me. They're like, just I'm not selfish. Well, they're, they're probably home going <laughs> jalapeno. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. yeah, good. That's delicious. It is very. Nice. That's really good. Great. I'm shocked because normally I would not even touch that with a ten foot How did you? Uh, Susie, you want some more of this? I'll, I mean, I'll yeah, 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 finish it, kill it. I think she's gonna finish all. How, how did you? So, one thing, one thing I've thought about, um, you know, when you when you search online for anything beer related, there really aren't a lot of shows that are about the craft beer scene, and Beer and Sunshine is uh, all about the craft beer scene. Um, you know, we're 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 part of big big top brewing company, and um, clearly they're a craft craft brewery. Um, but one thing with the content, you know, having breweries on and promoting local drinking and promoting craft beer and having, you know, I probably interviewed, I don't know, 40 of the local breweries in the Tampa Bay area, you know, around there, 40, somewhere 40, 50. I keep thinking to myself, I'm like, well, why isn't, why aren't craft beer shows more popular? And I, I keep thinking maybe the content is a little bit repetitive. But then I had, a, I had an epiphany. Hello, Epiphany, by the way. I have a friend named Epiphany Ross. Hello, what's up? Um... Uh, one thing that occurred to me is, you know what, there are, there are people out there that are considering getting into brewing, and every time a brewer, a, a master brewer like yourself, tells their story of how they got into brewing, I feel like that might be just a little bit of motivation that's going to push somebody over the edge, make them get into brewing, and the next great brewery will emerge, you know? So... If you would tell me your story, how did you get started? What was that? What? How did that happen for you? What? How did you get into brewing? So I definitely didn't start drinking craft beer when I was 21. Nobody. Did. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody except this guy probably yeah. in, in the world. The angel. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not your dad. So <laughs> me and my younger brother, which uh, he lives here in, in uh, Sarasota, we would always get the homeless guys to buy us beer. Oh, of course. And right they, they would always, it, it was hit or miss if they were going to, like, take your money and run or if you're going to get your case of Budweiser. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we found this homebrewing shop that sold the ingredients you need to make beer, and there was no age requirements. So we had this epiphany, like, dude, we're going to start making beer. <laughs> and it was like, I think you could make uh, two and a half cases for probably 20 bucks. Oh, you just did something... That I did not <laughs> intend on doing with the show. Now, not only we, we encourage somebody to start brewing, we've encouraged miners to start yeah. brewing because no, you just told we don't them a secret that. that nobody knows. <laughs> well, they may have changed it now, but back then you the didn't. You didn't have to be uh, 21. So we, we started making. Uh, I think our first beer was a. Uh, oh, what the heck was it? It was a bitter orange brown. Then we made a honey brown lager. Your first beer that you made was a bitter orange brown. brown. Yeah. Isn't that a little bit, uh, like, a little higher level than, you know, entry level? Well, yeah, because we went from Budweiser to... <laughs> bitter orange <laughs> brown. That's graduated. Yeah. I, I don't know where we came up with the idea. Then we did a, a honey brown lager, because we used to always drink the... Uh, there was a commercial beer, like Honey Brown Ale or something. Uh, it came in a clear bottle. Uh, I, yeah, I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, it, Am, 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 yeah. Amber No, not Amber. No, no, no. Well, it was it was called like Honey Honey Brown Ale or. And it, I, I I can I can picture it in my mind. I can see the bottle. I mean, it was because it it's okay a brown beer. bottle when you look at it, but then when you finish it, it's a clear bottle. It's a clear bottle, correct? Yeah. yeah. Then the third beer we made was a, uh, it was a, sour apple Jolly Rancher beer, and I remember we we oh we, we were at that. well. Now, the funny thing was, early. we were at this homebrew shop. And we're talking to a guy, and we're telling him what we're doing. He's like, 
Yeah, that's not real beer. You don't put Jolly Ranchers in real beer. I'm like, God, I'm putting Jolly Ranchers in my beer. Well, right. it, uh, it didn't go over well. I remember I worked the night shift at a company, and my wife called me, and she's like, all these bottles you have are exploding. Like, literally, the necks were breaking off. Exploding. It, like, the neck was just bursting. They were shooting everywhere. It was... Uh, oh, man. So... <laughs> I remember calling my brother like three in the morning, dude. You have to get to the house. You got to save the beer. So he's like popping all the tops the off, pouring into a five-gallon bucket. It, it was pretty interesting. So we made beer on and off for, geez, like twenty plus years, and then probably in 2013, I decided to go commercial. I went to school for. I went to American Brewers Guild out of Vermont. I interned at R.J. Rockers. Where were you living when you were when you first started making beer and brewing beer? South Jersey. And you're in New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. And so then. Where were you living when you decided to go to brewer school in Vermont? Still Jersey? Uh, no, actually, I lived in uh, TDK, South Carolina. And so, then, okay. And I did there, it was a working brewers program where I worked at RJ Rockers and I did a remote program. So, I did most of my finals, they would send to the brewmaster at RJ Rockers to administer, like midterms, finals, things like that. Yeah, finals and midterms, they test you? Yeah, it's, it's all <laughs> chemistry and physics. I mean, it was, it was pretty legit. challenging. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you know, it was a legit yeah. school. I mean, I, I say like there's like three legit schools in the brewing industry. You have UC Davis, Siebel University, and then you have the American Brewers Guild. And then from there, you go into like there's a school in Germany. So it's it's a legit school. I mean, Did you go to the school in Germany? No, no, I didn't go there. Okay, I wish okay. I could. Nobody has time to go to Germany yeah, for six uh, months. Know, right. I mean, that'd be pretty dope, though. Um, yeah, so then in... I think it was the end of 2013, early 2014, I met my partner, which was a friend of my dentist. He was like, dude, what you been doing, man? He's like, I love beer. And he's got this big beer belly. He's like, his belly. And I told him I finished brewing school. He's like, oh, man, you got to talk to my buddy. I think before I left the office, his buddy was already calling. So then we started the brewery, uh, Legal Remedy. And I was in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina. I did that for two and a half years. And then I decided to sell out my shares in December of 2016, and that's I came down here in April to this point. So wow! So the moral of the story there is, even if you don't live anywhere near a brewmaster uh, brewmaster training program, you can do it remotely. Yeah. And even if you make beer and your beer starts exploding, and your significant other is calling you, telling you, "What the fuck? The beer is exploding!" Your brother can go pour it in a bucket and then like save it. Now you have all this, and then you can be a successful brewer with a successful brewery. Um, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty it's awesome. Also, that's like, perseverance, man, for real. <laughs> is it like a rite of passage when you're brewing beer and when you're starting for your bottles to burst? I feel like your dad told a similar story. Uh, that he said, yeah, the same oh, thing, huh? When he was um, at least 21. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just bottles breaking. Is that just like you just have to go through that? To yeah, like, I, I think like you, you get all these books and you're so excited that you don't read the books. <laughs> you don't think about the carbonation that's popping out yeah. and what's going on with fermentation. Well, refermentation. It, Kicks up again and shit starts. That refermentation. That's the word I was looking for. So today, him and I. Uh, so Jason just moved back to Florida from Indiana, and he's now he's working up at Big Top with us. And we're out in the yard today. I was moving some kegs around or something with the forklift, and then he goes, he goes, hey, there's some. Uh, what is it called? The peanut butter beer, the one Declan's Declan's, Declan's indulgence. Yeah. He's like, there's some Declan's indulgence. I'm like, he's like, don't get excited. I like that beer is bad. I was like, and he's like, why? What's wrong with it? I'm like, it started uh, refermenting again, but the refermentation, whatever. Yeah, that that uh, that thing happened with that beer. But that's uh, always fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my beer word of the day. So refermentation. What does that actually mean, and why does that happen? Well, that's when you have yeast that are still active in the beer, and there's still sugar in there. And it hits a certain temperature. It's like the yeast come out of, they're, they're not dormant anymore. They wake up and they start like eating surprise. that sugar. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. oh shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> gotcha. when, when, I'll, I'll get the science in right? Science. Here we go, right? Science of Susie. So, when the yeast go ahead and start taking these sugars, they're breaking them down, they're metabolizing them in a way that releases carbon dioxide and alcohol as a byproduct. The carbon dioxide is a gas, so if you don't release that pressure somehow, it's gonna come out. Wow. Yeah. If you have it in a bottle, yeah. it's gonna. Yeah. So I, on that note, my uh, when we so we had um, Gold Coast Eagle is one of our just uh, big distributors, local distributors here, and uh, one day a whole pallet of Declan's Indulgence comes back. We haven't brewed or canned Declan's Indulgence in a while, 
And so it comes back, and the guy's like, ah, oh, just throw it in the trash. I'm like, no, 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 let's not throw it away. He's like, I'll, I'll drink it. Let me try one. So I take it. We had it in the cooler for a little bit. I pour one. I'm like, oh, it's not terrible. It was, it was not great, but it was, it was. I could, I could drink it a little bit, but I wasn't gonna have another one. My neighbors the next day, they're like, I'm like, guys, it's like, you ever want me to bring you home some beer? When we can, we always have like, you know, beer that doesn't meet spec. We can't release to our our, our distributors. That ends up at my house. Right, some low right. Fills. Yeah. exactly, exactly. Some low fills or like the, the seals aren't just right. So my neighbor goes, I want Declan's indulgence. I go, have I got have I got a story for you? And I was like, I was like, just you know, today's your lucky day. So the next day, I brought home two cases. I, I put it in my van early in the day, like way too early. I should have just like I should have left it in the cooler. But I put it in my van. By the time I get to my house. I pull in, and I go and I grab these two cases, and I start walking them down the street. And as I'm walking them down the street, pop, 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 pop. They just start nice. exploding all over the place. I turned around, went back home, sent them a picture, and said, I tried, guys. I'm sorry, but you don't want this beer. It's trash. Yeah, it just started exploding like crazy. Nice. But, uh, man, so, so all right, so you've got, you've got some uh, cool history there, and, and here we are today. So, uh, and by the way, by the way, I, I, I think, yeah, yeah, let's do the next one. I think Josh was, your dad was 15, I think, when he started brewing beer. That's what he told me. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. I waited until I was at least 18. We're not going to get arrested. Nobody's going to come get us or go get Josh. Because... I mean, he's not 15 anymore, so it's fine. Yeah, he's yeah. totally fine. Totally fine. So what we got here? Uh, so the next one is the Honey Rye Pale Ale? Yep, Honey Rye Pale Ale. So I, I brewed that, uh, when I moved down here, I, I developed that recipe, and the first time I brewed it, we submitted to the uh, Best of Florida contest and won bronze on that one. That's really awesome. nice. So that was pretty nice. cool. So what's the story with the raspberry raspberry jalapeno? Uh, we we just so we we used to do like uh, jalapeno beers in my old brewery, uh-huh. and we wanted to do something different, so we decided to go with raspberries. I, I did like a pineapple jalapeno. Um, nice. I'm to think. I've done a few different ones: blackberry. Pineapple. All with the jalapeno? Rod- yeah. All, all of them? How do you keep the heat out of it? Scrape the seeds out. And that's it? Yeah, that's just scrape it? the seeds See? and get the ratio right. you got to have the X amount of pounds per barrel. Is that a secret, I guess? Yeah, it is. And there's a couple <laughs> other things I do to them. And now it's completely done. Good for you. I was going to say, I know they talk about the water flow and having it on top. Basically that's peppery though. That that one's peppery. That one is that's got far, heat. But it's supposed far. to be. It's supposed to be. I mean, there's very few people that love that beer, but they just love that. The people that love it go crazy. And so yes, my wife's one of those people. Yep. She loves yeah. heat like crazy. Yeah. My my wife has a T-shirt from uh, who's that big wing place? One of them just went out of business in Clark Road. Um, wing King. Or wing no, wings? no, no, wing no. Um, Buffalo uh, Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's got a T-shirt from Buffalo Wild Wings because they make you sign a waiver if you can eat this wing. Then you get a T-shirt. Yeah, she's got the T-shirt. She's like, oh, she thinks. Yeah, oh, she's one of those. Uh, yeah, she's crazy with the heat. What you think? It's actually really good. It's not too hot. What do you guys think of this, by the way? Oh, it's great. It's not too hot. It's good. Does it bring back any memories? No, no, no. You're not, it's not, you're not <laughs> having PTSD? Yeah. It's, it's not super hot. Like I'm that. sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, Dad. Don't hit me. These are all beers you haven't tried yet. No. I, I usually I always have sours. Yeah. I get the rye big time. I get it. I get it. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's... It's good. So that one there, I mean, that's obviously... I mean, it is a hot beer. Who wants to finish it? Anyone? Oh, no, it's... it's Balance, it's, it's hot yeah, yeah. and balance. Mm-hmm. I love any. Yeah, I got to Of course you'll take it. You're ready. You're usually one and done. Coffee or salad. Yeah. No, so one and done? Totally. I said that once. <laughs> yeah. Usually one and done when you come for trivia. You're saving well, the brain cells for I get, the game. I get so, like, absorbed into it. I'm like, all right, I got to get this general knowledge. I'm like, when science category comes up, I'm like, yes. I'm going to get every single one of these, or I'm going to give back all my studying I've done at USF. <laughs> <laughs> I do that one team. Su- Susie, yeah. you. One so Susie, you're you're a biologist, but you're part of the USF program. Did you? There is a brewmaster program there, right? And um, did you participate in it? I think St. Pete has something something like uh-huh. that. There's a certificate here at the Sarasota Manatee campus. Um, there's a program that um, has like a food and beverage track, which is what the new lab that's being built at Big Chop will be part uh-huh. of. Uh-huh. And it'll be incorporated a lot into it. So on that track, they do have like a science of cooking, and then they have a chemistry and microbiology of beer. But you have brewer knowledge, right? Yeah, from from that class that I took. Okay. I took okay. it way too serious. This is what I do when I get like sucked into something. <laughs> so I'm like, I hate beer, and then I start taking the class. But I like anything that is that seems simplistic. Right? People drink alcohol, they get a little drunk, they get a little loopy, you know, and there they go. 
but something that's simple that seems very complex. I'm all about that. So I started learning and learning like, all right, tell me how to brew. And I started reading more and learning more and I just sucked it all in. I'm like obsessed. Now I only drink beer. Wine, <laughs> wine coolers. <laughs> Get out wine coolers? That doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can't, they still you, make wine coolers? You, you can't possibly be old enough to even know what a wine cooler is, Susie. Um, I started drinking when I was 21. Just like, uh, just like I year. said, like I said, <laughs> you can't be old enough to know what a wine cooler is. Do you know what a wine cooler is? Old Irish Rose. Uh, <laughs> what is that? I don't even know. That's, that's not that really a wine cooler, wine is it? They still make wine coolers? A wine cooler would be like they Seagram's do, like, or right? Yeah, okay, <laughs> Seagram's. That's, that's, that's it. Right? Yeah. I was gonna say MB like, twenty twenty. No, oh. that's not a wine cooler. Oh, How dare you, sir? Mad Dog, dog that's not a wine cooler. <laughs> Mad Dog is insanity in a bottle. But I drank red. it. I drank. I drank in a. I drank an entire bottle of the grape stuff. Uh, uh, I was in my twenties. I was in a in a in a Clearwater, Florida. I was with a buddy of mine. We went to uh, this nightclub back when there was such a thing as nightclubs. <laughs> and uh, I, at the time, I was a personal trainer at a Bally's Fitness Club in Largo. And this dude who's a manager, who's a giant, he had a twin brother who was an even bigger giant. And his bigger brother was uh, at... Like just, oh, oh no, no. just keep going. This oh, guy was a mo- he was a monster. I'm telling you, he was like six foot four or five, and probably close to three hundred pounds, and shredded, just jacked, just a big, huge monster. And so he was the bouncer, <laughs> and I was this little, like, one hundred and seventy pound guy, whatever. And I was shit faced out of my mind. I drank an entire bottle of Mad Dog Twenty Twenty, the grape flavor. Mad Dog. I don't and know what this is, but so I'm I'm ago. I'm bouncing around <laughs> dancing. And this guy comes over and he just like plucks me out of the crowd and like grabs me and like carries me away. Like literally with one hand like grabs me and like carries me away. So I start freaking out and I, and I like literally challenged him. And he looked at me and he just like looked at me like, I will squash you like a bug. He just said, he said Tommy, he's like, just get out. Just leave right now. Just get out. And he told me enough times to finally I realized what was happening. I'm like, uh, oh, okay. And I just leave. And then so then me and my buddy get in his, it was a, I believe it was a Chevrolet Chevette. Wow. We get in his Chevrolet Chevette, and we start driving down the road, and it's raining out. And I, going down US-19 in, in, in Clearwater, I step out of the vehicle, and I put my feet on the ground, doing about 35, 40 miles an hour in like this, like, like a lot of traffic. I started skiing, holding onto the door in the roof. I was skiing, but he's like, get in the car, get in the car, you're going to die, you're going to fall. By the time I get in the car, the next morning I get up, I look, half of my shoe was gone. It had just worn away like a pencil eraser. Is like, that like yeah. the original Kiki challenge? Oh yeah. Like, I don't even know what that is. Did you do the it's Kiki okay, challenge? The <laughs> I don't know how I can explain that. That's it's my mad dog Kiki. story. It's like, are you riding? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you, you get out of the car and you walk by the car as the door's open the car drives yeah. and you do the oh yeah yeah we just you're like, get out of like the you're car trying to drive the car. And, yeah. yeah no 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 or you do the little thing no this is a lot faster than the kiki, <laughs> kiki challenge a lot faster hey so we're yes. a quarter of the way down what are we at now oh, oh, oh. i'm curious to know that's the uh, smoked peach milkshake ipa smoked peach milkshake. let's do it i have to i do i can't Pass. have this anything with lactose makes me feel sick like thinking about it it's not because i don't want to like it because I'm a dairy person. I love dairy, but dairy and beer in like this combination makes me go, oh. But so if you just can, take, if you sip and taste it. I a little bit on this. Um, I, I don't have, I avoid them simply because of the fact that there is lactose in there. Lactose is a sugar that a lot of people don't possess the ability to break down um, and just can make you feel sick. But I did read, though, that in these types of beers, the amount of lactose is very negligible, so that if you do have an issue with lactose, you might be all right drinking these types of beers. For, for me, I just don't want to You don't want to find out? You should just try. It's a sip. It's a sip. It's a sip. You should just try and see what happens. It's a sip. But if I vomit on everybody. Oh, yeah. That's, that's great. great. That would make for good television. I think that would be Dog bite Tommy. <laughs> yes, just yes. All right. And That's a goal. Viral. Okay, I'm gonna do yeah. it. I'm gonna do it because of what I've read on the internet. Small sip, small sip. <laughs> it's on the internet. It's got to be true. Everybody knows <laughs> that. Always, it's always true. Um, but yeah, so lactose for mental sugar gives like a stronger, like like a heavier body feel, right? Is that why? Yeah, it gives you a good mouth feel. It's yeah. makes it creamy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it smells good. All right, here we go. It's gonna be okay, your new favorite I'm little, beer. I'm a little scared. All right. I mean that's pleasant though. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it. They don't call it creamy mouthfeel for nothing. Yeah. 
I feel like that needs to be on a t-shirt. It is good. Appropriately, like, progressing the beer down the line. We're just like, boom, boom. No, no, we are. We're going, like, you know, right to left. It smells fresh. It's like we're reading in Chinese. We're going right to left. It's like a little thicker than the other, like, just slightly. Should be creamy, nice mouthfeel. I like it. I do like it. But it's one of those beers, like, I'm the same with the, with a porter or any, yes. like, thicker beer. I love the taste. I will sip it, but I could never have even a half pour of a pour. I just... You and I, so exactly I the same. Yes. And I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. The heavier... It's amazing. Uh, it smells I mean, that's, so no, nice. No, it's good. I tend, it's to, I, I tend to overuse the word rich, but when something... To me, that would Absolutely be, like, it's very no. rich. Then, uh, But when it comes to these, though, I... So far, at least the ones it's I've had, really I can I, I can drink them. Yeah, it's, it's, so that's an IPA. You're gonna have to get more into the lactose because ah, I'm gonna start doing the milkshake. It is. Sours. It is. Smoked, you know, I did. I, I smoked spent a lot of time looking really up whether or not that this would be alright for me to have. This is delicious. This is, Literally no okay. hops again. But I get very nervous, you know. <laughs> you smell a lot of beer. You gotta get used to it when I start releasing. It's a fruit beer, but it doesn't smell like the fruit, and that makes me nervous off the bat. But that smells like a fresh peach. It's fruity. You want to kill it? Yeah, yeah, kill it. Yeah, it's good. I'm working on a couple of those milkshake sours. So milkshake sours. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to get me. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. That was pretty awesome. That was smoked. Peach milkshake IPA. It's really good. What's not, he? Well, not, not too hoppy. It's just right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I think good. probably the lactose uh, smooths, smooths it out. It out. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, what is on the Honey Rye Pale Ale? What is the uh, ABV on that one? I'm gonna guess because I have too many beers. I, I okay. think it's like mid sixes. And then what about the smoked peach milkshake? Smoked peach is actually pretty high. I want to. Yeah, I want to say it's like seven or eight. Really? Wow. Yeah. 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 So you would never guess that yeah, it's, taste. It's I feel like there. you like the brew dangerous. I, I, that's, <laughs> I think this is a theme that keeps happening where it's like, this tastes like nothing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're going to die. Like, but it they don't creep up way. on you, yeah. <laughs> See, I may come through on trivia nights and have one beer, but I but I feel all right after that. One <laughs> what, you know, that, that, yeah. that uh, reminds me here. So what um, what what do you have going on here? You, you guys open seven days a week? Yes. What, uh, tell me the different nights. Do you have different themes or different uh, activities? So yeah, yeah. Monday is industry night, so we give discounts to people in the industry, also in the restaurant industry. Tuesday is happy hour. Wednesday is beer bingo. What time's happy hour start? How's that work? I believe it's from geez, like four o'clock until we close. So oh, four to ten. That's a happy yeah, hour. If I ever heard. <laughs> oh yeah. And then we have bingo on Wednesdays. Beer bingo. It starts at seven. I think it goes for like an hour and a half, two hours. And then Thursday's trivia that starts at seven goes to about nine thirty ish. If you guys want me on your team, I'm, you know you can recruit me, headhunters. <laughs> <laughs> I would that I'm not smart, so you don't want me. Mm. Yeah, I'm a moron, so I don't. You don't do need trivia. to be smart. You guys guess a little. What trivia? Is it? Do you do theme trivia or is it just generic kind of? It's uh, so there's seven rounds. Well, there's. I'm already, I'm already no opt out. Well, no, there's like there's music, there's movies, there's current events. It's okay. there's some pretty easy ones in there. I mean, if it I if I play, time. I would win every time. But like I, I said, if, if but that team, that team, join Team Susie. I'm not gonna say their name, <laughs> but they always win the pictures of beer. Not all the time. It, it's been you haven't been in a while, so it's been mixing up a little bit. Oh, so I have a chance. Yeah, there's I mean, there's absolutely. been a few times we won a few pictures of beer, but <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm coming back. <laughs> what else we have going on? And then Fridays and Saturdays is usually like food trucks and music. Do you do um, live bands? Do you, have, do you have live music? Oh, yeah, we do that. yoga Saturday. Yeah. We do beer yoga Saturday oh, my, mornings. My wife came here and did yoga. She, she, she sure. met Sandra. Oh, my yeah. wife, Lee, has met Sandra. At her and her uh, her girlfriend, uh, they teach at uh, Primrose Academy. It's a private, uh, like, elementary school, whatever, Lakewood Ranch. And they, uh, yeah, when I brought up Good Look, she was like, oh, I know that. That's how I got her attention again because I had messaged Sandra, and I didn't, I didn't hear back from her for a while. And then my, I was telling my wife, I was like, ah, I might... I'm trying to reach out to this one brewery. I'm, they're local. Because my biggest thing here since I started Beer in Sunshine like almost three years ago uh, was trying to make sure that I had at least all of the local breweries here in this, in the Sarasota, yeah. Bradenton area on the show. And I've had a few that I w- wasn't able to get, never contact connected with. And uh, But anyway, I reached out. She responded. Then I didn't hear back. And then uh, I shoot a random message with all these typos, because I'm pretty sure I was shit faced. I was shit faced, and I'm like, so I've seen her going and telling her, oh, my wife did yoga there. 
And then she responded to that, and then here we are. <laughs> She's probably like, wow, great game. <laughs> <laughs> He's a moron to do it. For the most part, you're a two-man, two-woman operation, and you have some people that come in and fill up some chips, but it's basically you guys that Correct. run the whole show. Yeah, we do it all. crazy. I, I do all the brewing. She does some of the cellar work, and she transfers and runs the lab. Uh, and then she tends bar, and then when I finish brewing, then I come up and tend bar. Or if I'm not back there building something in the yeah. back. Or... Yeah. Your wife is the cutest when she is hosting trivia. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Oh, she does the trivia? Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. Tell me about your brew house. What you got going on back there? So we have an eight-barrel brew house, uh, two vessel, and then we have a two-and-a-half, almost three-barrel. I squeeze in three-and-a-half in there uh, in the back. So we have, fermenter-wise, we have... 10 fermenters, and in bright tanks, we have seven bright tanks. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, a good size yeah. little, little brew house going yeah, on back a, there. We've got a bunch back there, and we usually have most of the tanks filled, but we're usually just cranking through. So. Yeah, no, it seems like when it. When does your day start? It depends on the how late that I work the day before. So if I'm here until like 12 o'clock, I'm not coming until like 9 or 10 o'clock the next <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, 9 or 10 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, no. That's like, that's still so early. Uh, no, I mean... I, like when I brew, I like to come in early. If I can get like 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning. But lately that hasn't happened. And I don't keep a schedule. That was one of the reasons why I sold my last brewery because we became a production brewery and our focus was, was on distribution. Uh -huh. So I had all this forecasting and, and a schedule to follow. Well, I don't, I don't really want to follow a schedule. Right, I'm right, at that age right. now. I just want to do what I want to do. So Good for like, you. Good for you. I wake up in the awesome. morning and I'm like, oh, I know I need to brew this beer. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to brew it. Doesn't Good for really you. Matter. That's awesome. Well, no one's waiting okay. on you besides, you know, we have your tap room and you make it as you make it. You have a high demand, I think, yeah. already for you're already releasing things and it's selling out and, and people want to have what you're making. So they're going to wait for you. You're at that point. You yeah, know? usually. I mean, it's like, so I'll have beers that I'm like, I know I don't want to run out of this beer, but then I'm like, I really don't want to brew today. So I guess we're just going <laughs> to yeah. run out of it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Are there days where you work like seven days? Like oh, yeah. every single day? Oh, we work seven days a week. I mean, all, you, you always work We've, like since we've opened up since December 16th, we've had four days off. Wow. So, and we're actually taking this Sunday off, so Man. we're pretty excited. I have so, I have so much yeah. respect for uh, yeah. so, so much respect for people in the uh, the, the craft beer industry. Uh, yeah. And I, I say that I don't know anybody in the macro uh, work for the macro breweries. I'm sure I'd have tons of respect for those guys as well. I mean, the people in the beer industry period uh, work harder than anybody I've ever seen in my life, yeah, and absolutely. you literally create happiness. And a glass. I mean, beer. Beer is. Uh, it, you know, I, you guys watch uh, The Walking Dead. Any of that stuff? I'm so I just saw the last episode. Yeah. Fear, Fear the Walking Dead. So that show, Fear yeah. the Walking Dead, they had a guy who he's yeah, like, he's like, alert. well, all right, well, <laughs> this is like two two episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. So, but this guy was talking about how beer is uh, historically beer has been made for a very very long time, and it's something that has been. Uh, Part of what has kept humanity alive for a very long time because of what beer provides and it, it made me think a lot about what beer is what it means to me what it means to other people and it's just it's happiness it's what yeah. brings people together and and uh it's awesome beer beer is an, an amazing substance that uh people like you get to provide for us so it's great that's, so it's thank a, you for your service yeah <laughs> i was gonna say the thing that i love more than anything is it brings people from different walks of life that you could never interact with together. Oh, absolutely. And sure. that is the most amazing thing to me, is being able to sit down with people and become really good friends with people that you would never encounter. It creates community. You know I mean? It creates yeah, community. community. Yeah. It's a family, and it's the most positive, supportive atmosphere I've ever been in. I would do oh, anything. Oh, I agree. I would do anything for the people that I know. You were you're, you're, so you're, 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 you're <laughs> just about to say... I would do anything for beer. Uh, you, were just okay. a, you should have said it. You you're missed not, it. You should have said it. You yeah. should have said it. I was hoping like, you were going to say honestly, it. Honestly, it, it's an amazing community that it breeds, and people don't really understand. I was into beer for the past two years. You know, I'm very recent to the craft beer scene, and I was just like, I don't want to do this. Kinda, I don't get it. Like, beer is beer. And it's like, you go into any space, and you start with people, and you have these relationships, and they're so intimate and so personal and you literally bend over backwards to any of these people. And here we are. And here we are. Yeah, I totally agree with you because 
because I'm also new to the craft beer scene as well. And here and we I, are. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> and I had the opportunity to actually write a piece for a textbook on the community and how it's the craft brewing community is involved with each other. And the whole craft like brewing scene is so supportive of each other. I mean, you guys have your service nights, and yeah. even local breweries and brewers. Can it's come a brotherhood. Get, it's yeah. a brotherhood. Isn't oh, it? definitely. It's so supportive. That's and, part about and beer. The community and so much charity work and the way you bring in food trucks. I mean, it's it's full circle. It's awesome. That's the thing. Most industries you're in when you're you know side by side trying to do the same thing. It's like oh screw you or I'm not gonna help you or I'm keeping my secrets to myself. In this industry, it's like no, let's do this together. We'll help you build each other up. We're gonna make sure that we are there for each other. Just because one we want to do that and we're passionate about what we do, but also we know that like we're gonna help each other. We're gonna end up helping each other in the long run, and it's about the community. It's not about this place or this place or this place. It's about everyone helping each other and creating an amazing experience for people. That, that is why the saying "believe in the power of beer" <laughs> is something that that has really right. resonated with me, and I think it's a great saying. I think it's you know, beer and sunshine. What's better than that? What's better than beer and a little sunshine? Believing in the power of beer. It's all, it's, it's, you know, you could go, you go on and on and on with slogans and sayings and <laughs> memes or whatever, but, uh, yeah, beer, beer is a powerful thing. It's great. And it's, uh, I, I think it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's community. I'll drink to community, that. Community, yes. <laughs> I will also drink to that. I'm running out. Of you know, there's a sip left. It's fine. What do we, what do we, you need a little something here. Right, what, what do we got next? Blackberry Porter. Porter. Oh, a a little porter. Not sure. Do it. So you would Hold on, she's that you would do it. Let her go first. <laughs> I'm not a porter person. I'm not a porter person only because, not because I don't like them, but again, they're so filling that it's something I have to sip on and I can enjoy. Yes. I can enjoy this for two hours. It's like I'm a baby. I need to go on in advance, but I'm getting there. Um, well, I, I know with porters that it typically, they technically are like poppier, but you don't taste it because they're so sweet. Um, oh. Oh, that's good. Is it like dessert? <laughs> I don't know if it's you good. notice this, Mike. Oh, it's, it's, but, uh, it's my turn. Here we go. Girls first. Ladies. The girl, the girls on my show represent like Disney characters. <laughs> she's she's Snow White. She's Mulan. Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what are you, dude? You, well, he's not a girl, but uh, he could be a Disney character. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I mean, they're all pretty generic. You know, it's in the Disney movies. You know, all the guys are the same guy, but with like a different color, different outfit, or a different color in hair. In 2018, we're gender fluid. You can be who you want to be. You can be Mulan. You can be John Smith. You can be anybody. There you go, John Smith. There is John Smith. You're right. This one, this one isn't as thick as some of the other porters I have. So I love them, but I'm like, this is steak marinade. That's where my mind goes immediately. Like, it's, it's beautiful, it tastes good, and I love me a good steak marinade, but I can't down a full glass of steak marinade. I've never I, associated a porter with steak marinade. That's, that's a more, like a glaze. Really I associate it with like a glaze, like yeah. something that's like that's delicious. Right? Yeah, but that that's is. Really I'm not going to chug a, a gallon of balsamic glaze, but I love it. Yeah. You guys are right. so good. I'll, I'll kill this one. That are so like they're so good. Like they're so smoother than. That's a classic than kind than of a flavor. Typical it's really of them. good. And that's fantastic. Yeah. And the blackberry, you kind of get that in the backside a little bit. Yeah, that's really good. Because on the backside, you get that little bit. Yeah, that's fantastic. And the blackberry, you kind of get that in the backside a little bit. I like that. Because on the back of your tongue, right? I'm a I'm a stout porter guy, so. There you go. <laughs> my that first, was you, that was your my first beer when I turned 21 was Miles Davis Bitches Brew by Doctor oh. Head. So you were telling me about that today. Oh, do you know that beer? beer? I do not. Really? I, know that beer. I didn't know it either. Now you got to bring it to me. I, 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 uh, I, have, I have a couple bottles. Yeah, he's got a little stash. A limited release. <laughs> oh, those are special though. Those are special. It's, it's worth it. They're, they're barrel so aged. I, I did not have a fancy upbringing. I was like, oh, oh, oh steel reserve. This is a good beer. <laughs> <laughs> Dies in a field. Like, no. Good domestic. <laughs> did not have a good beer upbringing. <laughs> All right, what's that last one that we got over there? That is a lychee coconut. Oh, oh. oh it's my favorite. It's I don't sour. want to share that one. Lychee I coconut, coconut sour, yeah. This is special. This is I, I heard a customer yes. actually brought in trash bags of lychees for you guys to make this beer. Yeah. It's really? It is one of the best beers, like blanket statement, the best beers that I've ever had for just pure drinkability. And if you're on a beach with your eyes closed in the sun, this is the beer. I wow. grew up eating those fruit. So you're saying like, like beer and yes. sunshine? I'm saying like this is beer and sunshine. If we could sponsor a beer, it would be this beer. Oh, so, all right. So maybe. 
Have you ever peeled lychees? <laughs> Never again, dude. Lychees yeah. are so much worse. I, I, I feel heard like I've heard that before. Yeah. Somebody has told me that before, that pe peeling lychees is, uh, is, is It a, is a lot a of work. It got to the point where I was like, dude, please don't bring me any more. He's like, oh, I got more. I was like, I don't want any more. Just stop. So do they, do they, what do they, they have a, do you grow those here? They have lychee trees here? So my understanding was there was like, there's around in West Bradenton, there was like a mango farm, there was a lychee farm, and then they built housing developments and left a lot of these trees. Uh -huh. So this guy is like the uh, like the tree pirate. He goes out and he just looks for all this fruit. Yeah. And he's like, he's like real sneaky about like all ninja and stuff. <laughs> he like just pops up in somebody's backyard and starts picking lychees. Really? Yeah. Really? It's pretty cool. Well, I'm, I'm actually more excited to try this now. Well, now that, now that I know it's... I set the bar real high, but it, I think it's... This is pirate I mean, beer. I love it. It reminds me of my childhood, straight up. So, Coconut, have you guys like tr both tried this? Oh, I had that oh, before I came on here. Time. All right, yeah. so there's no yeah. ladies no, first. No, I, no, I, I want to. <laughs> it is the most amazing beer. Huh. I get the coconut immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately. And you get a little lychee finish. And the lychee, yeah. Lychee's sure. very mild, but you get it. Very mild? It takes a lot of lychees. Hey. Yeah. You could drink like 10 gallons. Steve and oh, Marilyn yeah. are that here. That was dangerous for sure. <laughs> and see, see, see his T-shirt. He's wearing one of the big top, uh, one of the Beer and Sunshine shirts Beer with the, that big top uh, logo on the back. <laughs> That's one of the uh, one of the shirts. You have to check yeah. it out. Are we gonna get some like V-neck shirts? I want some Beer and Sunshine. We I'll will absolutely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> coming. <laughs> yeah, we'll have some Beer and Sunshine shirts uh, for you guys here real soon. Yeah. Uh, they'll be available. Probably at every big top location and on Amazon. Yep, and you'll also we'll be able to buy them on the Facebook page. Um, there's a shop now button we've recently taken down. We're trying to redo the merch and make it awesome for you guys, so it'll be up very soon. Um, and you'll be able to buy things for 50 pages as well. So, oh, awesome. That's awesome. We'll have some cool stuff for you, for sure. Hopefully. We'll have some good liquid shirts for you as well with the beer and sunshine. Beer and sunshine in the front, good liquid on the back. There you go. But that's something we'll talk about here off camera, offline. You know. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully all the all the breweries that are on our show uh, will participate with us in giving you some really good merchandise, some cool T-shirts and stuff like that that shows off their brand and, of course, beer and sunshine. So something we're working on. Sounds cool. Yeah. Now, does Sandra mention to you guys that we're going to become a gastropub sometime next month? Really? So we're adding no. a kitchen. Whoa. No, are you really? Yeah. That's a big yeah, we move. Have, we got a spot for a kitchen, yeah. So really? We're, yeah, we're going to be a uh, gastropub, so right what's, now... What's uh, the inspiration for that? What's the what's the cuisine going to be? Uh, Why'd you guys decide to do that? So, are you guys familiar with gastropubs? I want to finish it. It's like high-end style no, food, so like... Sure. Like, I got like well, little little tacos, little. like uh, like skirt steaks, um... I'm trying to think of like something that would correlate like with it. Yeah, I mean, I like we're gonna, right we're gonna now, have tacos, like, like a plantain taco. We smash the plantain, you turn it into a shell. Uh, smoked brisket with some mango slaw. Um, we'll have sliders, like a bomb slider, uh, a little burger slider with like a blackberry habanero jam or, or a burnt cheese on it. So it's like so, some so pretty cool things. We're we'll, we'll right? right, we'll we'll well, we have We have a menu. <laughs> We've already cooked the menu, oh, so now we're just kind of tweaking it and we're Who, working on the chef. How did you create the menu? Was this uh, your, uh, come out of your head, or are you, uh, you are you chef? a sh secret chef? Yeah. <laughs> no, do no, you, no. Like, we, you get down in the kitchen or what? Or, we just eat at a lot of places. <laughs> yeah. So did, but did you have like a chef that you found that is going to work with you or? Well, I work with an executive chef team to okay. design the menu. Okay. So once we came up with the food items, now I'm working with another chef who's working with me to find a chef. So I got a lot of chefs involved because I don't know shit yeah. about food. I just yeah. Like okay, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, like so, yeah, yeah. I'm a dishwasher. I, I love to eat, and uh, but I, I will clean a kitchen if you cook for me. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> so we got some pretty good things in, in the works. So good I'm for you, excited. man. You just took advantage of a great opportunity here to tell people about what you're planning to do here in the near future, and uh, I think that will serve you well because you know, yeah. Now people know. Now people are right now. People are getting hungry right now because of the yeah. description you yeah. gave. Because yeah. I'm hungry right now because of the description you gave. Smashing plantains and turning them into tacos. I've never had that before. Yeah, My wife's really a crazy good. foodie, uh, and she's an amazing, amazing cook. Um, and you heard what at Big Top what we we did is we opened a location in Pensacola. We're working yes. on our third location in Gainesville. And the location in Pensacola has this guy, Chef Dan Dunn. What up, Dan, if he watches this? Hello, Dan. Nice. Uh, he's amazing. He's a guy that was at a Hilton property for like 11 years. He, uh, I guess he left there, and then we, we heard about him. He heard about us. We hooked up. And 
that place, when they opened, I was there that week, the week they opened. The second day opened, uh, we sold more food than we did beer. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we're a brewery, first yeah, and yeah. foremost, right? But this guy has such a, like, a social media presence. He's a, he's, a, he's a really great guy. The mayor of Pensacola came in and said he was the mayor, that kind of thing. And I've said that so many times, but it's the <laughs> truth. Um, and the menu's awesome, and it's that kind of food. Oh, cool. uh, but he does not make any tacos made out of smashed plantains, which I'm very excited about. And I can't wait to come here and try that. Might have been one up. Yes. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited about that. So when do you plan on getting that project started? When do you, when do you think you guys will all be offering food? Probably mid to late October. Right now, it's just looking oh, for a chef. Very soon. Yeah, so we're yeah. Just, super soon. Yeah. We're working with some chefs right now. We're trying to figure out. So basically, we'll probably in the next two or three weeks, we're gonna have a uh, like a cooking interview where somebody comes in. And I have a, a chef that's going to be with me. We're going to interview him. It's going to be like they cook a five meal course. You know. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to sit there and eat it. So, yeah. um, so I'm going to announce this right now. I'm going to be having cooking interviews at my house at my house next week. Um, anybody who wants to come interview and cook me a five course meal, it's pretty good. Me up. Yeah. Me up. Yeah. That's a great thing. That's a great yeah, way I'm, to do I'm it. I'm excited. Like, I'm going to sit back yes. and be like, yep, cook uh, this, this, and this. So oh, it should be pretty cool. So nice. Are you guys so, going to drag me in by my legs after I'm going to have to eat your food? I'm, I'm going to live here. Like, this is going to be my second We are setting up a room with bunk beds. We're working on it now. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. I like it. Good. Cool. Are we, uh, so let me ask you, are we uh, on time? Are we, uh, are we doing all right on time here? We're at 8 o'clock. I guess mean, so we've been uh, talking for about an hour here. Are we keeping you for anything? No, I'm good. No? Yeah? Awesome. Are, are there, because you have so many more beers, are there any more beers you would like us to try that our pal Andy uh, could maybe go get us? I would say. All the, What's that? What? I said our stage <laughs> all the sours. I mean, you got to bring all the you sours. Again. Okay. Uh, what the what, what are we now. missing? What are we missing? Uh, we grapefruit. Well, the the grapefruit pale ale is amazing. good. Amazing. If you would, if I mean, you I'm would, sure Sandra say. has a couple ideas. Yeah, we definitely need beer though, because we, we can't be a beer show with empty glasses. Give the, give the people what they want, Andy. Give, give the people what they want. You know, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. No, no, it's for the people. They want to see they want to see his best side. They want to see his best side. Andy, Andy we're, wears we're jeans about very, very well. Andy, very well. I appreciate Andy. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> that was for you guys. You're welcome. You are Drink it in, folks. Andy Drink it in. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, while we're waiting for beer, is there anything else you want to talk about or dive into? Talk about beer? Um, are, you <laughs> trying, talk about beer. are you trying to uh, stimulate my memory and get me to say something that Absolutely. I forgot? No, this is not a, like a sideways female thing to be like, remember that one time and you need to talk about it? This is just open. No, Mike, how about, how about we ask Mike that question? Yeah. Mike, what do you want to tell the good people? Anything Anything else? So we got to rest. We're going we to turn this place into a gastro pub. Um, how about this? What, what, what beers do you have come down the pike? How do you get your inspiration for beers? Like, because you have some really interesting stuff. I'm telling you that raspberry jalapeno, really, that that one, that that's, one, that's that one caught that's got it. got my attention. That is a killer beer, and it was really delicious and very very creative in my opinion. Just because a lot of breweries have uh, beers with a little heat, a lot of them use jalapeno, some of them use some habanero. I'm waiting for somebody to, to really go like throw the hail mary pass. It break out like a scorpion pepper, I was gonna say ghost pepper. or a ghost Carolina pepper. Get crazy! Yeah. Somebody get crazy! Yeah. Oh. That was done. He made a ghost hot. pepper porter. Yeah. Wow, this is that's gotta be hot. Blonde milk stout, right? Yep. And this is a blueberry sour. Blonde Can you bring me a, a glass of the blueberry sour? <laughs> sure. Andy, 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 Andy. I actually have the blonde stout in my glass. So really, really, yeah. really. All right, so blonde milk stout, blueberry sour. Which one do you want to split, Susie? You know, like oh, don't worry. I'm going to split. split the blueberry with you. No, you yeah, you're going to split the blueberry with yeah. me? What do you mean split? Yeah. I don't want to get a taste. Yeah, I want to taste the blueberry. You said split. <laughs> split means two people. I feel like you've already had the split. <laughs> people. Well, you guys can have that because we're going to split mine when it comes. No, I didn't have, I didn't have any. Have a, have a, have a taste. All right, and then you can split it. So you get it. <laughs> Wait, you had it or I had that one? Which one is this one? That's the blueberry. You haven't had this one. One drop. 
<laughs> just Count smell it. Open. Don't drink it. Just smell it. Oh. it no, the smell is awesome. Though. I felt like these vultures are going to take it out of my hand and <laughs> rip it out of my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> They're like, what do you want to, what do you want to split, Susie? You're, You're going to take the whole thing. Oh, that's really good. What are you going to offer us any? That's just, Thank you. oh my All gosh. Right, here we go. Oh, it smells like blueberries. Really, this, this, this is going to sound really weird, but this is Betty Crocker in the can blueberry muffins. Yes, yes. Right? No, not weird at all. Yeah, not weird at all. No, yeah, you nailed it. Yeah, totally. That's totally. my childhood of making muffins. Yeah, but yeah. But like minus down with all, but like the muffins and the can, oh my God, it's weird. <laughs> I've had a blueberry muffin beer before and that was really good. Oh. If you can get that bread to translate into the blueberry, uh -huh. I mean, that's, uh -huh. that's how my peanut butter and jelly, it actually tastes like... Before I add it, the raspberry puree tastes your, like peanut butter bread. We need bread. to try your peanut butter jelly. It's how come, Andy? How come you only brought back two? Because we're gonna split it. How come, did, how come Sandra so to hook us up with another flight? Salad. Yeah, tell Sandra to give us more beer. This is ask her, ask her for us the Sandra peanut butter and jelly. Like, it's, it's not on top. How do we? So how do we get the peanut butter and jelly? It's it's in the cooler in a keg. Yeah, yeah it's one of those beers. I don't know if taps. What is this? Oh, that was that was going in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, literally in 10 minutes. This is the same one? Yeah. You're just sharing? I'm, yeah. Well, he gave me some. Oh, they're sharing. What's oh, funny is I've okay. had a lot of blueberry beers before, and they have been That's typically delicious. my least favorite type of beer. That's really good. Because they're like, I will they just taste straight up. That is so good. That's one favorite blueberry beer. Oh, it's like this. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite. It's a good beer. Blueberries. And like every brewery I go to that has a blueberry, it's like the weakest blueberry taste in the world. I'm like, yep. this is not a blueberry beer. This is beer with like a one blueberry in it. The thing like, is, when you get that Sea Dog Ale at World of Beer, back before they basically went out of business because the now they're closing all their locations. Yeah, R.I.P. Uh, W.O.B. But uh, <laughs> R.I.P. Uh -huh. That that beer, I love how they put those little tiny blueberries in there, and that was like my favorite part at the end. There's especially, a lot of that still do that. listen, late at night after you've had like a pile of those beers and whatever else, and you're kind of shit faced, you're ready to go home, and the last sip you take is a little bit of that beer, and you eat those little blueberries as you're like, walking to your car, now. not your car, but your friend's car, your friend's driving. <laughs> They're so good. Yeah. Uh, it reminds no, me of um, 21st Amendment, their watermelon beer. So we, I feel like I've had that, but it's oh been a long time. However, High Heels and Watermelon, I think it's called. It's really good, right? So we used to go to this place called Duckworth, 50 or 60 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. I used so, to live down the street from Valentine. So yeah, we used to go to that one, and it, really? on Wednesdays you had that beer special. When did you when did you leave that Rock Hill? Uh, a year and a half ago. And so I, was there for I, I, years. I left there in 2014. Oh yeah, so we probably were yes, sitting across from each other. We're probably sitting across from each other. See, I was the guy drinking oh, the watermelon beer, words. eating watermelon. They would serve it with a slice of watermelon, probably like you know, uh -huh, that big, uh -huh, massive. Uh -huh. So my friends would all make fun of me with their double IPAs. I'm like, yeah. you're ordering French fries and pizza. I'm getting free watermelon how with every glass. Food? How good is the food at Duckworth? Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah, they, they had good food. food there. Their barbecue spot. sandwich that they would do, and they would do the house-made chips, and they would give me, a, like, you get a blue cheese in the side. Dressing inside, the, yeah. Mm, I love Even that. Even their pizza really was good. good. Their pizza was good. Their pizza was good. Tommy, this needs to be, like, a special on-site show. It has to happen. You talk about it at least five times a day. Duckworth? Yeah. Duckworth? I, it's not, good, I might yeah. have. I might have. This well, if you come here, we we're going to have food like Duckworth. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This beer, so it's a, it is a sour. It is a so sour. So maybe that's the difference between some of the other blueberry beers that I've had that I have not been like a huge fan of. But, I mean, I love sours, but this is like, it's so like balanced. Like it's just tart enough. Like like actual blueberries. Like yeah. they're just... That's the thing. I love oh, tart. So I don't love overly like... I, I stray away from like a grapefruit or an orange beer most of the time because they're heavily citrus. But I love a lime love or a blueberry or a raspberry when they're they're a sour just because they're balanced. I feel like citrus, heavily citrus like grapefruits and and uh, oranges can sometimes go wrong very easily. And that's just personal opinion from my non you know extensive beer knowledge. But um, the, usually I feel like St. Bets are the are the fruit sours. I feel, I, I feel yeah. like that's definitely your palate because. I think most people okay. would say it's the opposite. Like the, the, he he the, the heavily sa <laughs> the heavily sour stuff can go sideways for somebody that's not really into it. I love really sour stuff, but when it comes to like your orange and, and things like that, you know, the citrus stuff is usually pretty mild, mm -hmm. unless they're trying to do a sour. But yeah. I don't know. I, have you had the uh, kumquat sour, sour orange? The sour orange. We had a side of the world. Anything that's like an orange or grapefruit, like to me, is like a, like. I 
Two, two, yeah, two is that. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. We, we did a kumquat sour orange, and that was really oh, good. Oh, yeah, I got yeah. some yeah. yeah, I had that one. And I then that, that one turned into a base, and we added passion fruit to it. So it was kumquat sour orange passion fruit. Dude, that was oh. dope. That and then you mix amazing. that. It, you mix it with the New England. It was called Da Juice. That's what all the customers <laughs> did. Oh, they said it was like a like a sour IPA or a sour pale ale, yeah, like yeah, Belgian yeah, style. Yeah, It was pretty legit. Awesome. See, I have a problem awesome. when it's like too syrupy. When it's too sweet, and it right. almost tastes like you almost just want to cook with it as opposed to like drink it. It's too sweet. Yeah. This yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, you, I swear, you guys probably come here and then you bring me these beers that I just. <laughs> I can't remember. These are good. I want to just out of curiosity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta try the blonde sour. Is that, that's, that's the, the blonde, sour. blonde sour? Blonde stout. Oh, blonde stout? I've had it, yeah, yeah, blonde this milk stout. Like originally, it's really nice. Blonde milk stout. Right, so the other one was a sour. This is the blonde milk stout. Have you guys tried it? Yeah, I think it was in the original fight that was brought out, or is no. it? No. Ah, no, 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 it wasn't. Mm-hmm. You want to try it first? Go I mean, ahead. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Gateway to Porter's that I wasn't allowed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the gateway. This must be yeah. gateway, right? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm double sipping. So when you have like, it's not like double dipping. Going, I love this. Are you going to be using a lot of recipes in your beers? Yes, we are. Okay, let it go. So let I'm it excited. Go. I'm sorry. Let I'm it go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had, I just so had a full glass of that. So oh, did you? Did you? All right, all right. That is really nice. I don't know much. I've never traveled in the Stout world. I just assume that they are in the same. This is English, basically, but the same level as Porter's Fee. They're darker, so I'm like, most, they're heavier, so I try to avoid them, but that, I could count that. <laughs> like, it's like a little bit of coffee notes in there. Yeah. So it's coffee and cocoa nibs. Anything. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I think the chocolate. And it's, it's, so do you want to make a sour version of it? I mean, oh, sour anything. I'm and so it's there. A, it's a blonde That's milk stout. Really milk stout. It's amazing. It looks really, really light for a milk stout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that tastes like a milk stout for sure. <laughs> and I get, in fact, it's blonde. It's lighter. It's it's smooth. It's really smooth. Um, it's like Starbucks. It's like Starbucks. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totally get the coffee like notes. Like I said, yeah. Have you, uh, like that's delicious. <laughs> Have you tried the nitro yet? Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah, we did. It's actually really good. You can pack it down that too. Yeah. yeah, I bet that's good. Nitro milk stouts. Man, that's creamy. Really creamy. Coffee, yeah. Again, very basic. But anything with coffee, like cocktail, there's a cappuccino that to me is like life. Like anything that's super coffee, IPA. Did you say cappuccino? It's called cappuccino with a cocktail. Never had it. Never I don't think it's seasonal. I think it's more. I think it's seasonal. But it's a winter seasonal. Most beers tend to be winter seasonal. But I've noticed, which I'm like, please, 365, and just drink this like water. <laughs> Did you get to try the pumpkin spice on Nuts now? It's going yeah, now, but. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, that was really good. I don't. I don't do a lot of pumpkin beers. That's not. Not really my thing. Are you guys doing like? We have. Uh, is it October? Yet? Not yet. Almost. 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 almost, almost right? like so October's coming up. Are you going to do any Oktoberfest beers? German so, style stuff, or are you, you going to do a pumpkin beer? So we have an Oktoberfest here, October 12th. Okay. So we'll have Das Booth for das drinking. Um, oh, das Booth. Probably, one yes, one liter boot will do. Uh, what, is, what is your? I mean, not that we don't. The whole world doesn't have GPS, but what's your address here? Just four eight two four Fourteenth Street West, 14th behind Hooters. Behind My Hooters. address is behind Hooters. If you yes. Find the Hooters, you're good. Yeah. yeah. There we go. If you can find Hooters, you can find us. And the and the Oktoberfest is when again? Uh, that's on the I believe it's October twelfth. October twelfth. Okay. So is it a Saturday or Friday? Or it's Saturday, all day. Saturday, Saturday, okay, cool. You got a Facebook event page? We do. There it's you on go. Facebook. You can I find us on Facebook. I already do it without knowing the date, and I'm going to be out of town, and my heart kind of crushed uh, a little bit, and I was like, no. Well, that <laughs> but sucks. I didn't see that, yeah. It does suck. We're canceling the event. It's, if if you can't come, it's over. Yeah, so we have, I think we have, I think I said mentor, we have a Doppelbach, a Hefeweizen, a Pilsner, a Kolsch. Be a good time. And another amber lager. Okay. So we're gonna sell all those in the boot except for the Doppelbach because that's running like ten and a half percent. Okay. So okay. we don't yeah, think you, you don't need to drink a liter of that. I think a, a liter of that would really put you in your ass. Super great time. Yeah. Get one of those giant like snow shovels. Yeah. What is your by the way? What's your highest gravity beer that you make or have made or? 
plan to make? Or? Uh, the highest I've ever made was 17. Uh, so I haven't made it here, but my last bird made 17. What here, was that about? Uh, that was a, a Belgian quad, and it was called... No, thank you. I'll like, ah, like, I'm all over that. Like I'm all judge over. and jury or something. Judge and jury. Because since we are, are judge, jury, and executioner, <laughs> something like that. It was like because everything had a legal name, so it, it was yeah, like some yeah. legal jargon. Okay. Um, yeah, that was I was pretty strong. It was sweet but strong. That's okay. The worst okay. thing. Um, There's people that make beers, which I feel like might be that they're they're a tasty, amazing, well balanced beer, and you're like, what percent is this? I'm oh god, oh god. Yeah. What have I done? What have I done? If you've yeah. not been managed by an adult supervisor, you may be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you might be in trouble. <laughs> I, I can see that. Yeah. I, had a, I had a beer like that. It was like 18%. It was by Dogfish Head. It was like a raisin oh, beer. Oh I did have that. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good beer. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's, it's up there, though. It's like, oh, almost 18. We actually just had a... We had a beer somebody brought in and was like... 24, 25%. It? Sandra probably it comes in a little brown box. Was it the Sam Isn't Adams Isn't that illegal? Millennium? I mean, no. do you just steal it at that point? Isn't that illegal like, though? 24, like, 24, I was going to say, what, what is the limit? If, is there a limit for something qualifying as a beer? Or well, yeah, Florida has a cap, but I'm not sure what the cap uh, is. I asked this question the other day, and I believe it's right around like 18. It's got to be more than that because they sell Dogfish 120, which runs at 22%. Wow. In yeah. Florida? Yeah, I yeah they sell in Florida. I cannot <laughs> yeah. imagine. And then the beer we had was, well, the beer, the other one we had that was 24%. Man, I can't remember who it was, but that one somebody brought to us. So sure I don't think you can buy here. It's like, you know, serving size is 10 people. Right, like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, so what is the highest gravity you have right now on tap? Or like, or what do you well, have? Well, the highest here? gravity I have in the building is 10 and a half. That's a doppelbock. Doppelbock. So I don't really don't do, like, I usually keep it under 10. Okay. Just because if not, Flavor. then you have a bunch of drunken fools. Crazy okay. people. Yeah. Crazy people, yeah. 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 People just get really stupid once you get above 10. Yeah. So if you keep it under 10, I mean, I think that's kind of reasonable. So if you're like, you know, 9.9, I mean, yeah. it's good you know, go. it's good. It's under 10. Go. Yeah. Awesome. Well, listen, this has been super fun. Yes. We're like an hour and 15 minutes into it. I know some of our some of our viewers are uh, getting a little uh, uh, you know attention deficit disorder, <laughs> and we've taken up enough of your time. But uh, awesome. thank you so much for doing yeah, this. Do you yeah. have any other events or anything coming up beyond uh, Oktoberfest? Stuff that uh, people might want to put in their calendars. Um, we have our one year anniversary, December the sixteenth. So we'll do a pretty big blow. You have to invite us. You have to invite oh, us. Definitely, yeah. I will come. We'll we'll, we'll come. We'll, we'll cover it. I'm already there. Yeah, we'll come. We'll cover it and uh, promote it and stuff like that for sure. We'd love to do that uh, for you. And uh, thanks for being generous and sharing your beers with us. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for sharing yeah. your space and your story. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming out. Yeah, it's good times. You guys are like the best. Yeah. So, thanks again. Our friends at Beer and Sunshine and uh, the followers of Big Top and now uh, Good Liquid Brewing Company here in Bradenton. We appreciate you. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next week. Yeah, next Tuesday with uh, Motorworks, I think. Another another Bradenton brewery. Believe in the power of beer and uh, have a beer tastic day. We'll catch you later. Bye, guys. Awesome. See ya. What's the Cheers, YouTubers. Beer? What's the highest gravity beer you have down there now, Big Top? Uh, and ten, uh, and ten, ten something. But it's not a regular. Yeah, I don't think it's on draft. We have ten something, which is um, Oki Finoki. Oki Fin- no, Ashley Gang's nine point eight. Uh, Oki Finoki is like not, uh, 